Hello everyone and welcome back to Winter 89 Colors. I am Melissa and I am here to share with you um, a mini haul and a flip through of Maria Trolle's new beautiful book that was recently released. I know we've done, I mean you've probably seen a thousand flip throughs of it, but I thought maybe you'd like to hear me flip through it and my thoughts on, you know, what I'd like to do with it. So first I'm going to start with these two books here. They were gifted to me oh so generously by my dear friend, Mizzy Chiara. So very kindly sent to me from my Amazon wish list. I really appreciate her um, and all the things that, that, that she's, she's done with me, the buddy colors and everything else is so kind. So she sent me Coco Wyo's Tiny Cats as well as Hannah Carlson's Grains of Gold. I cannot believe that someone would send me such a wonderful gift. Both of these books are just absolutely beautiful. Tiny Cats is adorable. Just a fun, cartoony little book that, um, that you can spend some time with some alcohol markers and just have fun throwing down some colors on paper. I mean, I've already picked out a few possibilities in this book that I'd like to color. Um, I mean, they're all just so adorable and very kawaii and very cute. And cats in a cup. So very adorable. But I picked out this one, the kittens and bananas. Ugh, I don't know why, but this one just was like, yes, adorable. Of course, the paper is, you know, questionable at best. It is Amazon print paper, but we make do, right? I thought this one would also be a cute option. You could just color all of them or you could color just one of them. Cotton candy kind of style, adorable. Yeah, so many, that one's really cute for Halloween. And I picked out this one as well to color. I've got a mark on it. They're all dressed up as frogs playing in a pond, adorable. This one's cute too, actually. I might put a tag on this one. I hummed and hawed about this one just because I think I was intimidated by having to do the background because these would be really hard to work around, but I'm sure I can figure it out. I picked out this one as well, the kittens in a jar. Oh, so cute, just adorable. Anyway, just a really cute book to, uh, to kind of play with on a day when I'm feeling a little low. I'm not gonna do a flip through of Grains of Gold. I'll just do a quick, you've all seen this book. Absolutely gorgeous. And I can't thank you enough, Kiara, for sending these two books to me. That's just unbelievable. So finally, let's move into this one. This was also a very generously go donated gift by my friend Tanya. She uh, she was so very kind to find this on my, again, my Amazon wish list and send it to me. That's so very sweet and I appreciate you so much, Tanya. You have no idea how exciting this is to me. Um, I don't have a lot of Marie, Marie Troll books. I only have her first three. Um, I don't have any of the new ones, so it was really nice to have something new by her. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip through this. I'm gonna try, gonna try not to take too long because again, there's a lot of flip throughs uh, available of this book. But I thought I'd give my opinion in case anybody's interested. So I guess this book um, does have a star on every page, whether it's obvious or hidden, and I think that's a really cool concept. She's still got a lot of her botanicals, but I feel like the drawing style is just a little different. The lines are a little bit cleaner and sharper and thinner, I think. Um, something about this book is just a bit different and not in a bad way at all. I love the little bee, that's so cute. And the drawings, some of them are just very simplistic and definitely not as botanical as some of her other books. And I'm okay with that. I like botanicals, don't get me wrong, but um, 
I guess they're not my strongest suit. I don't know much about botanicals, so um, I don't always color them as accurately as could be possible. Like I like this one with the little simple mushrooms. That one's really, really cute. I love that. Might put a tag on that one. That's one to do. This one's nice. Could be interesting in the way you color the hair. Again, just simple, a lot of blending to create that sunshine, but otherwise the picture itself is super simple. This paper feels smoother, I feel like, than her regular paper as well. Like, it just seems smoother. I Maybe not quite as thick, I'm not sure, but it just something about it is different. Hold on, I want to grab another one of her books. I'm just going to put that there to hold it. So here I have, I have Twilight Garden. I'm going to flip to a random page here. not maybe it's the same smooth maybe it's the same paper maybe just a smidge more yellow but it seems like the same never mind maybe I'm crazy all right got some shavings there there we go continuing on little houses in a tree very cute Seems like a lot more space stuff in this one. I mean, obviously the book is called Shooting Star, but I don't see a lot of um, sky and space concepts from Maria Ploilly. She tends to stick to the ground. Um, so this is really interesting. Little hummingbirds, cute. Girl with the pond. These little butterflies. A lot of background room too. I saw Karen from My Colorful Country Life doing uh, these ones and they, that looked beautiful so I don't know how I'm going to compete with that but not the first one I'm going to hit that's for sure oh that's really cute little mushrooms are those clouds or is it moss I'm not sure tiny person or giant deer <laughs> again simple with lots of room for background cute little bun Flowers not in bloom because it's nighttime. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of nighttime scenes too, which is another interesting... I mean, she has her whole Nightfall book in Twilight Garden, which is all about nighttime, but... Still, this feels like, you know, those, those books you can kind of, in a lot of cases, make them either or, whereas this one is fairly definitively, in certain cases, uh, dark. This one's clearly a sunrise or sunset, but I guess you could make it either. This one's really cute and again more cartoony than we're used to from her. This seems more like her older style. Cute and simple, very dreamy. Again, cute and simple. Got oranges and lemons mixed together. Interesting. This one looks like, or again, oranges and lemons or avocados perhaps. Not sure. That one's nice too with the hills in the background. Little kitty. Oh, the little frog hanging out there and the fireflies in the sky. Oh, that one's really pretty too. That nice one with the frame in it. Little doodly as far as how the, the, the plants are concerned, but still not too bad, easily remedied. And very whimsical, very childlike in some ways. I love the bee. Oh, bees are so cute. This one's really cute. Okay, I might tag that one. I love that. Very cute. You do the inside of those little flowers all bright and glowy because of the stars. Very cute. That one's nice too. Something about that one is really... Lovely. Again, all about the background. So many of these look like they're going to be all about the background, which I'm sure is intimidating to some people, but I very much think it'll be a, a pleasant challenge. I like that. That's pretty too. I'm loving these landscapes that she's giving us. Oh, axolotls. So cute. That's different. 
like a worlds within worlds type situation. Again, all about the sunset background. Very cute. Again, a little bit more like her older style, more landscapey here. Like those little mushrooms. I'm liking this weird cloud um, background thing. This could be like a double page. It's got kind of the same cat, the same girl, the same mushrooms. I would definitely color that as to like a double page spread for sure. Little mousy and botanicals. Very fantasy like with the river flowing through and the rainbow. Little castle. This would be all about the clouds. A lot of soft pastel or water mediums would work good. Hiding little rabbit. See, again, this one could be done as a double page too. Those are very beautiful and they look like a double page. The way that this connects could definitely be a double page. That ground could be either, you know, lumpy grass and hedges, or it could be clouds. You can make it either way, depending on what you're feeling like. And this seems like a, like a double but opposite page spread. You know what I mean? If you notice, I'm, I'm holding the book with my fist as opposed to my hands. I don't want to get my greasy fingerprints all over it. And then if you use like pastels or something, it like resists the oil in your fingers. So I'm trying to like keep my fingers off the pages as much as possible. Got squirrels in her hair. That's, that's an interesting one. That's kind of horrifying to be honest with you. That's a, I'm sure I've had nightmares about that. Squirrels are a little bit freaky to be honest. Cute from a distance, but oh my God, I love that snail. That snail is the freaking cutest thing I have ever seen, but I'm not ready to color him yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save him for later. It's really nice too. Again, a lot of these little cottage scenes, little sleeping flowers. That is cute. Cat in a castle. Huh, really nice. Again, could go either way, could be a double or not. A lot of these castle scenes, eh? Like really surprising amount. And that's a really nice scene with the deer. Ha, huh. moose. So I guess I'm guessing this is sort of a Christmassy um, Hanukkah type thing, seems like. Could be. That's really pretty too. Again, I'm not much into portraits, but I feel like with these, you could get them done pretty easily without stressing yourself out, you know? A little town in the clouds. That's really pretty for winter. I guess you could make all these ones that have these little lumpy um, foregrounds. I guess you could make them snow, eh? That would be an easy way to deal with them. Clouds, snow, whatever. And that's the end. This is a beautiful hardcover book. And once again, thank you so much, Tanya, for, for, for gifting this to me. Um, if you liked this and you want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe. Um, my email, my PayPal, and my Amazon wish list are all down below. Please visit um, and enjoy the rest of your day, coloring family, and make sure that you're coloring for yourself. Bye now.